Hmm. Oh my goodness. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for joining another episode of Price on Purpose. I'm your host, Stacey Price. What y'all been up to? What's going on? I hope you guys are well. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You know, um, living, learning, loving the three L's. That is what I'm up to. I hope you guys had an opportunity to check out the episode of Spontaneity today that was live at 1 p.m. with Maria Daniels and myself. If not, go ahead and check out the replay. And when you check the replay, make sure you type hashtag replay, okay? Feel free to ask questions, comments, concerns, like whatever you like. Yo, what did you think about? Like, let us know. Let us know. Um, also, on Spontaneity, we will be uh, changing our time. So we're going to be live Tuesdays at 3 p.m. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, how do you watch the show? You can watch it pretty much everywhere on streaming services like YouTube. Here where I'm at right now on Facebook. Just make sure you type in Spontaneity. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, so I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back. Um, I know a lot has transpired in the social media slash television slash whatever kind of world. You know, everybody's like, yo, what'd you think about Will Smith? Would you? I'm not really. At the end of the day, everybody goes through. Everybody goes through things. That is straight up. Everybody goes through things. And I think, uh, you know, we don't always know what's going to happen because sometimes it happens unplanned. Okay. A series of unplanned events. You think you're cured by something or you think something's not going to bother you. And then it does. And then you just, you know, but it is what it is. That's what I have to say about it. It is what it is. So, um, I wanted to have an interesting discussion today because I was even looking at myself and let me know how you feel about it. But actually, before I get into this, I do want to wish a very, very happy birthday to my mom today. She is 28 years old. So congratulations. She's got a 36 year old and she turns 28 today. It is amazing how the world works. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, but today is her birthday. Uh, we both have April birthdays. So mom, if you're watching, happy birthday. Oh, and Natasha says happy birthday as well. Uh, yeah, so let's get into our discussion today. You ever find stuff on the floor randomly? Anyway, so let's get into our discussion. I was thinking about today, I said, you know, I, I hear these things all the time. And I used to say this, like, I used to be like, oh, I don't have time to do this. Or I don't have time to do that. You know, I, I really wish I could. And, you know, kind of like, trying to create a space to do something but like not actually having the space to do it and what that actually means and i said well let's take the number one thing like when people say they want to get healthier they want to lose weight or they want to write a book or they want to start a business or whatever it is there's just, there's something that's standing between us and actually creating the action and i said well what is it i said is it because we're lazy is it because we don't know where to start. We don't have access to the information. Like, why is it that we're not taking action in the things that matters most to us? Like, realistically, like, what is it? And then I realized, I said, it's not that we don't have the information because right now in, in humanity, we have the most information ever, like ever, okay? We're, we're on the internet. Like the internet has everything that we need to do what we need. Like if you want to know how to start a business, you can go online. You want to learn how to start a podcast, you can go online. Like you want to learn how to cook a recipe, you can go online. Like everything is online. So what is it that is preventing us from doing it? I said, maybe, maybe it's like a little gremlin. Like maybe there's a little gremlin. Like every time that you have a dream, they're just like, you're not going to do it, my pussy. Like what is it? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I realized, I said, it, it, you know what? Maybe it's values. Like maybe it's our values. Maybe it's our values that's keeping us from taking action and doing the things that we need to do. Like, hear me out. Like, let's take a look at it. Like, let's say you're like, yo, I want to start working out once a week. Right? You, you, you're looking at, you're looking at, you're looking at it and you're like, okay, I'm going to start Monday. Mind you, it's Thursday. You're like, I'm going to start Monday. 
So Monday comes and you're like, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow becomes eight years from now, right? Before we even know it, it just, it just happened. So I said, well, what, what is it? So how, Stacy? how is that possible that it's my values that's preventing me from doing something? I said, well, think about what you're doing in that time, right? So if you say, okay, and this happened to me, this happened to me, because I was like, yo, I want to get healthier. I want to start working out. I want to do this, but I like to sleep. Like, I'd rather be in bed sleeping. Like, I'd rather just rest or I'd rather just read a book. Like, I'd rather just do that because it's easy, it's comfortable to do that, right? To just stay and, and act within the means and the bounds that you've built for yourself, right? So I value reading. I value resting more than, just be straight up, more than taking action into something that I haven't done before. So I said, well, how do you change that? How, how do I go from having a value of resting to having a value of taking action in the sector of working out, as an example. I said, well, one, it starts with a start. You just have to start. You can't put it too far out because if you put it too far out, you're never going to do it. It has to be an immediate action. So you take action immediately. And most importantly, number one, you got to check your time. Where, where's your time going? So if you have this thing, right, where you're like, okay, I'm doing this activity, but I want to transition into that activity. T take a look at your time. Where's your time being spent? Like, look at your schedule. Look at your schedule. Like, do you have things back to back in your schedule where it's just like at one o'clock, I'm doing this at two o'clock, I'm doing this at three o'clock, I'm doing this or something that is a, an amazing tool that's available to you right now on your phone. Everybody has a cell phone. Check your phone and see where you're spending time. Like, turn it on. Like, there's a thing on your iPhone where you could turn it on and see where your time is being spent. Straight up this week, I took Facebook off my phone. I took it off my phone because I realized that I was on there just to be on. Like, like you ever, like, take a look at what you do sometimes unprogrammed? Like, you just pick your phone up and the first thing you do is open X app, whether it's Instagram or whatever. Check your time. Because where you're putting your time is where your values live. So if you value social media, if you value reading up on blogs, if you value those things, that's what's going to happen. You value it straight up. Just be honest. You, you value it. So what is the action? What are the, what are the actionable steps on now changing the behavior to create a value, like to value working out or to value reading or whatever the case is? Okay. Now you check your time. You see where you're spending it. You can start small. Or you can go big or go home. That, that's your options. <laughs> this is the times I'm just like, all right, I'm going to start like little baby steps. And I'm going to do this. And then next thing you know, I ain't doing it at all. Straight up. Like, for example, I'm like every other day I'm going to work out. Or every other day I'm going to read. Or every day I'm going to do this. Or every day I'm going to do that. Like, just do it. Just do it. Stop listening to the voice that talks yourself out of it and start talking yourself into it. You know, it's so interesting. We count ourselves out when we should be counting ourselves in. Like, let's say somebody comes up to you and they're like, yo, I, I think you'd be a great candidate for X, Y, Z. Like, I really think you would do very well at it. And you're like, um, uh, well, you, you just opened the door for doubt. You doubt is standing outside like, can I come in? Can, hey, can, can I come in real quick? I just want to tell you how much you don't deserve this. What? <laughs> don't open the door for doubt. <laughs> don't open the door for that doubt. Be like, doubt be like, I just want to tell you that fear is here and fear wants a free ticket to come in. Can we come in? No, you can't. You can't come in. Leave. Goodbye. <laughs> But that's the thing, it's even beyond, right? Even beyond those things, it's, it's really about looking at yourself because I think some of us, I used to do it, the, the, the moment a big decision comes up, the moment it comes up, we're all automatically like, I gotta call Joan. Joan, what do you think about? Barry, what do you think I should do? What what does Joan and Barry got to do with it? It's all about you. 
you know? Sometimes you do need a soundboard, you know? Absolutely, you do need a soundboard. But when it comes to value, that's from you. That's from you. You got to check your values. So that's number one. Check your time and check your values, but check your time. Number two, chip away at the moment to start. Like, chip away at it. So, for example, number one, uh, I want to increase my cardio. So, right now, I'm working on my cardio, my oxygen levels. Um, I realized that they were kind of low, and I'm like, what the heck is this? So, I want to improve it. So, I'm going to focus on this particular metric, and I'm going to chip away at it, meaning start at a time that works best for you. Like, just start. Don't question it. Just be like, look, at this time, I'm doing this activity, and that's it. Like, there's no wiggle room. There's no maybe. There's no, but Joan needs, no, Joan will be there an hour later. Joan will be there an hour later. You don't need to do it now. You know, watch your sense of urgency. Apply it to the things that you value most and put that in your pocket, pretty much. Take action immediately and chip away at those moments to start. Like, starting is half the battle. Like you have to start and then to continue. Continuing is a whole other battle, <laughs> okay? Because let me tell you, doubt is going to keep, look, doubt wants to be VIP. So say you are the club. You are the club. Doubt loves to dance. Doubt is like, I love those beats that you play. I want to be there. I want to be in, I want to be in VIP. No, you can't be in VIP. You can't come in the club. Just tell tell doubt and fear you're not welcome here. Tell doubt and fear you're not welcome here. Tell doubt and fear you're not welcome here. Anyway, doubt and fear are not welcome here. Okay. They gotta go. They gotta go. Because I don't know about y'all. I used to have these moments where doubt would be the first response to anything new that I would try. Anything new that I would introduce myself to, doubt would be the first instinct. Crazy, right? And I realized that it came from, you know, it's not me per se. It's not like when I think about who I am naturally, that's not me. That's just an entity that we'll name another day. But we all have it. We all have this entity that comes in and wants to speak to us like we are not in control. And the thing is, we are in control, but we have to know that we're in control. Those are, those are two different things because somebody can come up to you and be like, this is your decision. You could do it this way or that way, right? But they just gave you two ideas from them. That's the way they see it, but how do you see it? You know, perception is a major key. Number three. This is what leads into sitting with yourself. Like, I cannot stress this enough how important it is to sit with yourself. Like, just sit with yourself. Like, literally, get a chair, sit on the floor. I don't care where you're at. Sit with yourself and really check in. Because if, if you ask yourself a question, you will get an answer. Straight up. Like, ask yourself a question. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Is this important? Is this a priority? Is this leading me to something? Is this getting me to where I need to go? Like, what, what is it? Like, really question yourself. Like, I mean it dead, dead serious. Dead serious question yourself. It's not, it's not for Barry. It's not for Joan, your other friends. No, sit and question yourself. Like, really check in and ask yourself what's going on. Because when it comes to making a lifestyle change or making a habit change or a behavior change, you're going to need to dig a little bit. And sometimes when you dig, things are going to come up and you're going to be like, well, why is that there? And then you're going to realize something happened because the brain, I don't believe. And maybe I need to have a neurologist on or so. But I don't believe the brain actually forgets. I think it's our consciousness that kind of lose track, that loses track of where the information is. It's in there. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's in there. Cause sometimes you, you look in there, you just like, oh boy, how'd that get there? 
when that that really happened yes yes it did <laughs> but it's not a moment for shame it is not a moment for shame to to exist i mean it may come up but i don't know about you guys so what time is it okay Brene brown right has this awesome series on hbo so if you guys have hbo max i encourage you to check it out she's discussing different emotions and something she mentioned which i thought was very very profound was she mentioned that um when you have an experience you know you're you're going to have an emotion that's going to come up with it and whatever you label that emotion that you're feeling is what you experience so for example say you're experiencing anger right anger as we've discussed on this show is a secondary emotion you're experiencing anger but what is what is before that like what were you feeling before that you won't know unless you question yourself and eventually when that feeling comes up you have the opportunity or the ability i should say not opportunity you have the ability to name what you're feeling but the thing is if you name it incorrectly it's going to change or alter your experience. That's why it's so important, as she says, to understand your emotions and to understand what they are so that you can correctly articulate yourself and your experience and be able to even articulate yourself in a sense where you can connect with other people. Because sometimes, you know, there there could be something happening, but you can't describe it. And then now you don't know how to address it because you don't know what you need because you don't know what you're feeling. So it, it, it comes up in, in many, many ways. So sit with yourself, like be okay with that. And when I say sit with yourself, I don't mean sit with yourself with your phone. I don't mean sit with yourself with like a friend, like sit with yourself, like lock yourself in a room and sit there with yourself. And I think the best thing to bring would be a notebook and a pen and really write your feelings out and keep that book for you. Um, something I've been using recently as a tool for mental health is an app called most days. I know it's available on iPhone. I actually found out about it through Uber eats. Uh, I drive for Uber eats. So there's an ask, an awesome app called most days, and it actually is a great tool for you to check in with yourself and your experiences. And it really can help you see what you're feeling, but most importantly, why you're feeling it. So then you can actually go and be like, okay, um, I need to make some changes, but I don't know what changes to start with. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So let's go over this. What month is it? April? It's April. What do you want to do for the rest of the year? Like, what are your accomplishments? Like, what do you want? What, what is your vision? Like, I have back here my vision board that I drew up. And I look at it every day and I'm just like, okay, where are we at to get to this next step? And how are we getting there? Like, are we on the right trajectory? Like, is there something that we need to change? Because sometimes that happens too. Like sometimes you might be planning something. It's like, okay, this doesn't look the way I want it to be. Like we need to change it. It's totally fine to change things. You can change you how you feel. You can change perspective. You can change different things with new information that's totally fine i think sometimes we may feel like we live in a world where we can't change our minds i mean we see it all the time in places uh that rhyme with the word politics um if you change your mind somebody's like but you didn't say that six years ago you didn't say that (laughs) to be honest i got new information i changed my mind uh what else Yeah, I mean, I think I wanted to really discuss values because it is so important to me now. I didn't really lock into them 100% until recently. Couldn't really see myself because I was so consumed with work. And work became my whole reason for existing. And because I kind of had some issues with the boundaries of what work is, is that uh, I eventually lost who I was. And I didn't know what was really going on. So eventually, you know, as I started to connect with different people and participate in like Tony Robbins events and stuff like that, or just like listen to them speak or even Gary Vee, all these people 
start to dive into these places where I'm just like, wow, like I didn't know that. But that's the thing, guys. I encourage you if you're watching or if you're watching this live, you know, I appreciate it. Make sure you click like and click share on this video. And if you are watching the replay, please make sure you hashtag replay and let me know about something you're working on. Like, let me know, is there something you need help with? Do you have a struggle? Like what's going on? And also if you have a friend that you're like, oh my God, Joan, like this girl was talking about like values. Weren't we just talking about that yesterday? Please share with a friend. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, guys. So it's, it's, it's very important. But yeah, I, I just started to check into this and I thought I would share it with you. I thought I would share it with you because um, it's not something that, it's not something that most people talk about a lot. I think some people are blessed to know it now or know it immediately. Like I know my values, you know what I mean? And then some people have, like they know it, but they don't really hear it. You know, they don't really dive into it a lot. So I thought I would check in with you guys, see how you're doing because, you know, it's an interesting world out there and it always has been. It always will be. Um, yeah. Uh, I've been reading a lot, uh, reading a couple of books. Uh, there's one book. Why am I forgetting the title? When I get the title, if anything, I'll, I'll write it next week. But um, I encourage you 100% to read. Like, no lie, like, sometimes I have this, like, weird fear that, what was that, what was that movie, The Book of Eli? You know that, you know that story? That, um, the movie with Denzel Washington, and they, like, hit all the books, and they, like, took them all away. Like, sometimes I get nervous. I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to take the books away. <laughs> so I just keep reading. I'm like, if I... If I have it in my brain, then maybe I'm safe. But let me tell you, the internet is a great place to learn, but also books, most importantly, read, 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 because let me tell you, um, the more you read, the more you learn, the more you learn, the more you understand. And that is a fact. So take advantage of the knowledge that is out there you know tr like I don't, I don't know how to stress it enough like how important it is to be aware of how you utilize your time i think this time in history like our attention span is wild like we're goldfish out here we goldfishing okay we're just like squirrel you know what i mean like like we're really having some trouble focusing <laughs> okay so please take the time to read and understand and just understand that you are an organism that continuously grows and continuously evolves and the and and growth you know I was listening to this sermon the other day growth is not optional I was like what what do you mean growth is not optional because I know plenty that I ain't grow up yet and I was like no nah, you're right Growth is not optional. Like you don't get to choose, but like I'm just gonna cap it right here. I'm gonna be 16 for the rest of no experiences are going to happen. It's really about how you deal with it. Like, how are you gonna deal with it? You know what I mean? Um, so if you read more and you expose yourself to new information, new ideas, new perspectives, you'd be surprised of what you can obtain, what you can learn, what you could figure out. It's it's a very interesting world out there. And that is another thing. I'll leave you guys with this thought. The way you think, okay? The way you think is how you, and how you see the world. However you see the world is how you see you. Just remember, it's a giant mirror. It's a giant mirror out there. So if you see like the world is just like this horrible, no good for nothing place, like that's not the world that's you. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, you got to really check in because sometimes we can, you know, in this day and age where we're so exposed to uh, different things on the news or media and things like that, media itself, itself 
is not a bad thing. However, the messages that they choose or choose not to share can sometimes be not so helpful for society. So leaving with this, be aware of how you use your time, read more, check your values. And at the end of the day, if you have a value that you want to change, change it, like really change it, like check in and change it. You have the power to be the change that you want to see. Stop choosing everybody else. Start choosing yourself. Put yourself in the arena, straight up. Put yourself in the arena and see what can happen. Stop putting Joan in, put yourself in. Put yourself in the arena and really see what it's like and see what you can do with it. Like we all have the power to find our purpose and our purpose is the puzzle to the universe, like straight up. So take that action, start with the start, check your value, read books. That's what we got today. That's the sum up. That's the sum up. Once again, my name is Stacy Price, guys. I really hope you share this episode with a friend. So make sure you click like and click share, share it out there. You can watch these videos on YouTube. I've got tons of them. Make sure you go ahead and check out Spontaneity, which is another show that I do live with Maria Daniels. You'll see us on Tuesdays at 3 p.m., okay? 3 p.m. Eastern time. And um, what else do I got for you? Is there anything else I want to say? Have a great day. Don't forget to be the change that you want to see. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.